guys let get started today's class we are going to talk about the line graph line graph i was writing task one very important but we're going to learn in that manner we'll just try to learn one strategy and it will going to help you to write any kind of line graph after learning this lesson and uh, after learning it you will be able to should be able to write a line graph uh, that should be able to help you to get band 7 or more let's get started this is a question of a line graph so here uh, this is a very important question to know so the question from this position to this position this is your question and this position to this position summarized to relevant this is your instruction and instruction this position instruction will always going to be the same for any writing task one question first thing first for before you write any kind of writing task one you should have four body paragraphs number one introductions then overall then body one then body two okay some people write the overall just after the intro like i suggest some people also write the overall and that part of their answer but there it will not going to affect your score you can write overall just after the intro you can write overall in the end part of your answer no matter doesn't really matter here let's go and try to learn intro first when you get the question you can look a bit what kind of things are happening but if you start writing your intro what you really need to do uh, first thing first students sometimes they get paranoid what really they need to do in the intro it's a very simple thing you just need to do the paraphrasing nothing else but here paraphrasing doesn't mean you need to change all the words so you can try to change the words and most importantly you actually don't need to change all the words because see in this question if you look at it in this question how many things you can change and how many things you can't first of all they're talking about car so instead of car you can't say it is bus or truck you need to say car you can't change it they're talking about regular maybe you will talk about daily basis or regular you can't really change a lot and then great britain you can't change it you can't say it's australia or usa and if you talk about great britain and their numbers uh, years you can't change that either okay so you can't really change a lot of things so don't worry about it a lot so what can you really do first of all in your question they might say graph they might say chart so if they say graph just write chart if they say chart just write graph and then below you don't need to talk about it and then gifs you instead of talking about gifs you can say illustrates you can say demonstrates you can say describe so there are the three words one is illustrates one is demonstrates then one is uh, describe uh, instead of gifs you can talk about that you can just put these three words any of them uh, it will gonna give you some good score and then information instead of talking about the information you can say a uh, data data right household household mean the things that is happening in the family so instead of saying household you can say family uh, with a regular regular means daily basis right daily basis or you can also just change the form of the word you can say regularly right regularly instead of regular you can say regularly if you just change the form of that word teacher will going to take it as paraphrasing because you are not copying it you are changing it right and then car you can you can't really change it that's all so in your writing task one intro you can't just change a lot of word you just need to change two or three words like here in all other questions in all other questions there will be the graph below gives information it will be the constant in all other every questions you will get the same thing if they say graph you say chart if they gives then illustrates demonstrates describe use one of them then information data right and this will be the constant for all other questions then how many words you really needed to change maybe just this one right households family and then regular so two to three words you just need to change and you will get a very good score uh, let's go and look at into a very good way here is it see the intro we have written here it's a very simple maybe you want to pause it and look into it so the graph we say chart illustrates data about families instead of on households it said about families who use who use so who we try to make it a little bit complex right it will going to help us to get a good score who use a car who use a car on a regular basis instead of saying regular we said regular basis for four distinct criteria so we can see like four criteria are there we identified that and wrote it here four uh, distinct criteria in great britain um, between so they are saying from 1971 to 2007 
they said between 1971 and 2007 so if in the question they're saying between 1971 to 2007 what are you going to write you'll write from 1971 to 2007 like that like if the question say graph use a chart if they say from you use between if they say between then you use from hmm. right very simple you just use in that manner um for the introduction you will be able to just write it in a very simple way and get a good score let's try this introduction for another question i would want you to pause the video and write an introduction for this question very similar the question is graph so you will gonna write chart and then shows you will gonna say uh, maybe provides or illustrates right or uh, demonstrates the three word i have given you just pick one of them from there uh, the quantity maybe you're going to talk about amount and then of goods uh, maybe you're gonna say product right product uh, transported maybe you're going to say moved right in the uk so see here is between maybe you're going to use from right from 1974 to 2002 so they're saying four different modes of transport maybe you're going to say four specific types four specific types of transportation done so pause it or write an introduction in the comment box um, i will try to check it out okay let's move to overall now so before you write the overall let's talk about what the overall is overall is your uh, key feature means all of your questions will going to have some key feature it's very important to get a good score uh, because if you don't have an overall in your writing task one a teacher will not going to give you six if you have a clear overall teacher will going to give you six or more if you have a clear and accurate overall then teacher will going to give you seven or more you'll try to learn a clear and accurate overall also i'll give you some idea how to write uh, more than eight band overall but we're going to learn that later first just ensure the seven let's go uh see for any kind of line graph for any kind of line graph one thing you will always get really not one thing fourth thing you will always get increase decrease top value and lowest figure look at it look at this graph uh, very carefully in this graph you can see there are some data that is increasing this one three or more curve increasing no curve there is decreasing i'll then this one kind of same so you can always get increase and decrease top value if you look into this graph pause the video and try to find out the top value of this graph which one is the top value of this graph which one is the lowest value of this graph see in this graph this is the top value right there is no other value which is more than this point this is nearly 50 this is the top top most and the lowest value this value see this is very near to zero very near to zero there are no other value which is lower than this one the top value and lowest value you'll get this data for any other line graph even for other like other graphs too like maybe bar chart even pie chart you'll get the same data but we're going to talk about that in another class let's stick to the line graph here because uh, you cannot really write everything you write in the pie chart uh, that you can write in the line graph that will not going to happen because in line graph the data are not very specific okay we're going to talk about that later let's stick to the line graph here so four things increase decrease top value lowest value these are the key feature for your any line graph then how can you write about those my suggestion is to maybe talk about increase and decrease in one sentence then top value and lowest value in another sentence and your overall will gonna be okay let's go and see the example here see so you want to start your overall with the word overall why is that because you don't want to confuse your instructor right because when teacher will see this word overall teacher will understand okay now this student will going to give me the overall so write the word overall don't try to write anything else keep it simple because your writing task is not just your writing task it's a communicating way with your instructor through your writing you are communicating with your instructor you don't try to confuse him or her so write the word overall and put a comma after that then among all four criterias tendency among all four criterias among all four criterias tendency to use more than two curves accelerated so if you can see the two curves 
it's accelerated three or more than two cars so two cars three or more than two cars means all here are more than two cars so you're talking about these two tendency to use more than two cars accelerated instead of saying increase you are trying to use a better word accelerated while by using while you are making it a complex complex always help us to get a good score while while the 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 word will be the while the mindset of not having even a single car abated abated mean decreased in an anonymous rate see no car no car means we have written not having a even a single car not having even a single car abated in an enormous rate you can see this is decreasing in an enormous rate isn't it enormous rate so you have talking about the data that are increasing the data that is decreasing we're done and then furthermore furthermore we're going to talk about the now top value and lowest value because we have done with increase and decrease now top value and lowest value furthermore in the very beginning period of the graph in the very beginning period of the graph uh, uh, no car holds the top value no car see this is this is the top value no car uh, holds the top value higher as by using higher as we make it complex so we made it complex with the hoyle and we made it complex with the higher as there is a benefit out there uh, i'm going to show you a little bit later on let's continue higher as three or more curves started the journey from the lowest point from the lowest point so it's very simple and straightforward we talked about the increase and decrease we talked about the top value and lowest value that's our key features if you want to get band 7 or like that it's really enough but uh, if you really want to get a little bit more you might want to add one more sentence right you want to add one more sentence that will give you a little bit flexibility to get a more score what can you talk about that uh, that sentence can be because we didn't talk about this one this one we can talk about a little bit about this what we can talk we can say in the meantime we can say in the meantime one car in the meantime one car remained constant remained one car remained constant right one car remained constant with a little bit of with a little bit of little bit of changing period with a little bit of changing period at times at times so as you said in the meantime in the meantime one car remained constant we can see there is not a lot of changes a little bit of changes at times right so we just said that one car remained constant with a little bit of changing period at times fantastic overall right very simple very easy to understand what you will write you will talk about the increase decrease top value lowest value then if you want to really get a super score then you want to add one more information that's all that's your overall your overall is ready now let's look into the intro and overall together here is your intro and overall i would say just pause the video and try to read it can you understand if you don't understand anything just put a sentence put a question on the comment box we're going to move to body now okay all right let's move forward to our uh, body paragraph okay uh, before you move forward to the body paragraph i really want you to look at these questions and try to just uh, write about the intro and also the overall for this question because it's the same you can see even for this line graph uh, increase there are some things that are increasing some things that are decreasing right the top value this is the top value this is the lowest value so try to uh, write the intro and overall for this question in the comment box let's go and try to learn something else okay there is a very fascinating thing now you're going to learn what is that so now till now i have taught you how to write an intro and how to write an overall and i have told you how much score you're going to get if you write in this manner now look at from the cambridge what cambridge says generally in the cambridge book you get the answer that is six seven not more than that but there is some exception a student got band eight now this is from cambridge uh, eight you can look into it the answer uh, maybe cambridge eight test four right as one right you can look into it so here this student got eight uh, it is a really good score for writing task one and let's go and see why this student got eight and if we write in that the way we have taught and we have learned uh, how much we are going to get this is the question this is the question and see so first of all the student what is when the student wrote you can see the student wrote uh, the graph illustrates the quantities of goods transported in the uk or united kingdom by four different 
modes of transport between the time period of this to this you can see in the intro part the student really kind of copy the question if you compare it the graph the student didn't change anything the graph he could have changed to chart and then he said illustrates good word uh, illustrates good word then quantities of goods see quantities of goods copy uh, you want to change that you want to say maybe instead of quantity you want to say amount and then goods you can say product right change so you can actually write better than this one and that instructor who have checked this answer the teacher he said this answer covers all the relevant equipment see the only thing that would improve this answer is an introduction to the topic is not so closely copied uh, from the prompt so he copied so you can really write better than this that way i have taught you i hope that let's go what he wrote in the overall over the span of 28 years the quantities of goods transported by road water and pipeline have all increased well okay i can assure this is when they don't i studied with us so you wrote while uh, the quantity of transported rail remained constant for about 40 million so he talked about the increase and talked about the decrease or the constant and then he said the largest quantity the largest quantity of goods transported both in 1974-2002 was by road at the while again the same structure we had used better structure we used while then we used whereas two different structure instead of copy that uh, the lowest uh, so this student generally talked about the increase in the overall the decrease also the top value and the lowest value and the what the teacher talked about this the teacher said this answer covers all the relevant information in the task and look at this very carefully and clearly highlights the main trends and comparisons right okay what about the grammar they said the wide range of c wide range of grammatical structures he actually didn't okay he used a very good grammatical structure but we have taught you better structure than this very simple so if you now you should ask yourself the way you have learned just now to write the intro and overall you can actually write better than this right all right okay at least at least this level there's the it's very important to understand okay i have learned i have told you to uh, write in that manner but you also need to know if i write in that manner what score i will get this is the score you will get or even more than that because you will write better than this one the way i have taught you okay okay let's go and move forward to the body part see body part i'm going to teach you in a very simple way. very simple so in the body one see before you write the body one in the body one you will just talk about the starting points because all the line graph will have a starting points here this is a starting point this is a starting point this is a starting point this same way like before like see a starting point a starting point a starting point just talk about the starting point in the body but nothing else how can you say that here is the example see in 1971 in 1971 the starting year almost half of all british houses did not have a regular use of car almost half nearly 50 right almost half uh, did not have a regular use of car around 44 percent of household had one car this one covered first two and then but only about seven percent this one two cars it was uncommon for families to see families household uh, to own three or more cars around two percent this one the last one very near to zero around two percent of households falling into this category don't you think you'll be able to do the same thing for the other questions you can actually do the same thing per se you can talk about this one right around 75 you can talk about this one nearly two on right nearly two falling into this category so you can just do that how it will gonna help you see in the time of exam you don't really have the time so you should have a plan for that for the line graph your plan should be okay in the body one i'm just talking about a starting point nothing else very simple very usable and a good way to get the score too in the meantime uh okay so that's the thing uh i'm sorry the lesson is getting a little bit bigger but we're going to finish it in five six minutes but you know if you learn just 25 minutes like within 25 minutes 30 minutes uh -huh. all of your line graph will gonna be covered right you will be able to light any kind of line graph very easily right okay uh, body one starting points done what about body two okay uh, there is a there is some job task for you in the comment box i want you to write the body one for this question very simple very similar thing the starting point falling into this category these these right uh, near to 40 like that so write down in the comment box body one let's go uh, body two what you really need to do in the body two you talk about the changes you talk about the differences you do a comparison 
first with the last year i want to talk about this comparison with the first with the last first step this one is started in nearly 50 this one same one and the nocker ended in nearly 25 right if this is 20 this is 30 so it should be 25 so see 50 um ended in 25 so it nearly decreased 25 right this one is started in first say eight seven like that right first say eight and then ended in 26 so 26 right it increased how much uh, maybe 16 17 18 i do the math you are good at it so like that the difference the comparison how much changes really happened that is the changes differences and compare with the first year to the last these are the things you really need to do nothing else because see a lot of people will going to say okay in this year this was that much uh, in 1983 it was this in 1991 it was this uh, they don't want it they don't want you to write each and every points there are a lot of points out there per se for one year say how many years are there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so there are ten times period so you can talk about ten sentences ten points for each that means there are 40 points you don't need to write all of them because see in the instruction they're talking about summarize the information they're not saying you to write everything summary can you remember in your school college days you needed to write about write the summary about something what you would do in the summary you just try to talk about the important things right not everything how can you do the summary they are saying it's selecting and reporting the main features main features not everything and make comparison where relevant so they don't want you to just mention the information they want you to compare the so summary and compare that's your vision nothing else so body two there is an example let's go and read it they started with the one car household was the most common type from the late 70s onward late 70s means the later portion of the 70 the earlier portion of the 70 means 1971 70 uh, 72 73 that is earlier 70 right early 70 late 70s means 77 78 79 right so late 70s we can see after this period after this time this is late 70 mainly 77 78 kind of like that thing after that one car was always in the top so they're saying that uh, the most common type uh, from the late 70s onward one car household see in any of your graph there will always be someone there will always be one line that will be the most common per se the question we just have seen here this was always the top right so you can talk about the road was see just copy it man just it's very simple so we are talking about here road right transportation the road so you can talk about here just put it the transportation system the road the road was the most common type of transportation for the whole period right very simple just copy it i mean just write in that manner it's very simple all the line graph are the same although then you want to add another complex structure it's very important let i'm going to talk about why these different types of complex structures will going to help you get the score very soon let's go and try to learn how to write it first although there was a little change in the figures for this category a little change right sometimes it changed there's a little change you don't need to talk about like this was changed one percent or and one percent down you don't need to talk about all the things you just talked about this was the most common late 70s and there was a little bit of change like in the this one you can also just say the same say the same simple okay and then maybe if, uh, for this one you're going to say although there was a boom there was a rapid growth uh for the last two time period for the last four years for the last six years like that done and then uh the biggest change the biggest change was seen in the proportion of household without a car biggest change because this was the biggest change that happened we have counted uh that this one have changed maybe 16 to 18 this one maybe changed five and this one didn't even change a lot so the noker noker really changed a lot nearly 25 so any of your line graph will have a line that will have the biggest change like for this one you count it which one had the biggest change uh, how much it is it 70 and it is um 100 first 100 near 200 right so 30 change of 30 this one is starting 40 water finished in 65 for say then 25 right 25 this one also started in 40 also finished in 40 nearly maybe one or two uh, percent of changes and then this one is started in two two three one two three like that two three two so let's say two and then in 22 so change of maybe 20 
you can see the biggest change was happening here so you're going to talk about that all the line graph you're going to write will have a point that had the biggest change and then you're going to talk about that the biggest change was seen in the proportion of the household without a car no car uh which fell steadily over the tax period at 25 percent in 2007 now see you have talked about the decrease then you can talk about the increase differences right increase you just talk about the decrease then you talk about the increase like here right now in in this one you talked about the increase then you can talk about in contrast this one because this one most of the time decreased right same all the line graph i'm telling you it's not tough if you follow the strategy in contrast the proportion of two car families arose steadily two car families rose steadily reaching about 26 percent 26 percent little bit more than 25 so 26 percent uh, about uh, in 2007 and the proportion of households with, uh, with more than two cars more than two cars means three or more cars arose by around five percent how is that maybe seven percent then uh, the starting point it was two percent miss five percent if you want to add one or two more sentences you can add like here uh, the two graph really crossed each other in 2007 uh, in 2003 after 2003 or in between 2003 and 2007 uh, here is also another cross you can just uh add one or two more sentences actually you didn't need to add more anything more and your body too is ready very simple very specific uh now you have a task before i give you the task let's review a bit what we have learned here so whenever you will get the line graph it's very simple if it is graph the chart then gives information say illustrates information data if they say data write information very simple vice versa and then you need to change two or three words simple and then if the question is talking about from 1971 to 2007 you use between and end and if the question is saying between then you use from changes simple changes and before you write the overall you need to have some kind of a little bit of uh, analysis what is that you want to see okay what kind of things are increasing what kind of things are decreasing what is the top value and what is the lowest value done you write about that and then when you write about your body one you just talk about the starting point right because all of your line graph will have the starting point and then when you will talk about the body two then you maybe focus on the finishing point and also the changes they have that's all that's all that's your line graph in all of your line graph you will get the same thing and you need to do the same see same thing in introduction graph you're gonna say chart shows illustrates quantities amount of product right transported moved in the uk there is between so you're gonna say from 1970 for different for distinct for specific types modes types of transport change so three or four words change you're gonna have a good thing and then again uh, about writing the overall then the things are increasing the things are decreasing you'll talk about that and then also that top value also the lowest value and you are done with your uh, overall and then in the body one you're going to talk about the starting point for starting point and then um you are done with your body one in the body two you'll just focus on here 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 and the changes how much changes they have had uh, you're going to talk about the biggest changes you're going to talk about the decrease you're going to talk about the increase with a little bit details and you are done with your uh, line graph okay okay so hopefully i really want you to write a full writing for this question just this is your homework as you have done the classes uh, if you put it in the comment box i will try to check it out okay just put it in the comment box write it out and let's see could you really implement that okay so i'm gonna finish it here and also try to write in the comment box how was the class was it helpful or not how can you make it better and also what do you want next what do you want us what do you want listen education to make a video what topic do you want okay so just write about that too and we're gonna see you in the next one till then goodbye and good night